welcome to Mentally Stronger, the podcast where with every episode, we're learning practical ways to let go of stress and struggles, grow our mental strength and live a happier, healthier, more meaningful life. I'm your host, Melly O'Brien, co-founder of mindfulness.com and creator of mindfulness-based mental strength training. I'm so glad to have you with me. Let's dive in to today's episode. Today, I'm going to be talking about letting go of limiting beliefs. And, you know, what I'm really going to talk about in this episode applies not just to limiting beliefs, but any unhelpful or negative thoughts. So I invite you to consider a metaphor for this. Have you ever had someone come to your front door to sell you something Maybe they came to sell some encyclopedias or some makeup or a vacuum cleaner. I really am having a moment here of um, showing my age, feeling like I'm showing my age. Okay, so all of you who are under 40 years of age are probably not going to know what I'm talking about. Like pre-internet days, people used to come knocking at your door to sell things all the time. You guys that are over 40, you know what I'm talking about, right? And by the way, I'm just really having a moment right now of feeling really sorry for all the people that were dragging encyclopedias around the neighborhood trying to sell them. That is kind of crazy to think about nowadays, isn't it? Anyway, I digress. So the metaphor, somebody would come to your door back in the day and they would start their sales pitch selling you something, you know, could, could I interest you in this vacuum cleaner? How's your normal one operating? You really could upgrade your current vacuum cleaner. Your floors are going to look more amazing than ever. And they would go on their spiel, right? Now, I personally have never bought anything from a door-to-door salesperson. I would just simply say politely to them, no thanks, and just, you know, wish them well on their way. In some ways, this offers us a really great metaphor for how our mind generates these ideas, these beliefs, these thoughts, and kind of try to get us to buy into them. These thoughts come knocking on the door of our awareness and try to sell us, you know, a sales pitch about beliefs or judgments or opinions it's trying to get us to buy into, right? Now, If a door-to-door salesman came with his vacuum cleaner or his encyclopedias or makeup or whatever it was and started the pitch, it's really unlikely that you would just yell at them, take my money, I'm in, (laughs) right, without considering the sales pitch carefully. But this is often what we do with limiting beliefs and negative thoughts. We just buy into them immediately without much consideration, even if they sound kind of crazy, you know? So with our own minds, when these thoughts come to the door, we can hear that kind of sales pitch, if you will, and politely and simply say, thanks, but I'm not buying that today. And just really leave it at that, really simply. There's no aggression in this. There's no uh, hostility. There's no trying to stuff, you know, the, the, the thought away. It's a really just simple acknowledgement. Thanks. I'm not buying that today. And we just, it's really simple. Now, I don't mean to say that we should try to push the thought away or block a thought out. Not at all. What I'm saying is that we can just know that the human mind is a thought generating machine. It just constantly chatters away in the background, making meanings out of things, making stories out of things, you know, generating automatic judgments. It just kind of chats away in the background, pitching us all kinds of things it wants us to kind of buy into, but we don't have to buy into them. That is a choice that we do have. We may not be able to control all of our thoughts, but we do have a choice whether or not we're going to buy into everything the mind says. If we do buy into everything that the mind says, we are probably going to end up with the equivalent of a mental house full of junk and clutter that weighs us down and 
inevitably makes us suffer and causes stress. So often in life, we become really attached to the storylines that the mind is making up. We take them to be the truth and they really pull us into emotional reactivities. Unfortunately, far too often, a lot of these storylines, the mind is generating these sales pitches. They just aren't helpful or useful. They're not the ones that make us calm and happy and at ease within our own skin. In fact, a lot of the storylines that we end up holding on to are often quite critical of ourselves and others. They tend to focus on what's not good enough, what's wrong, what's not wanted. You know, so our mental commentary when it is unhelpful and when we're buying into all of this stuff can really hold us back, create inner tension and also tension in our relationships and in our, um, in our life in general and just straight up dampen our ability to have joy in our lives, right? So we want to become very, very discerning with what beliefs and thoughts we buy into and which ones we can see clearly are not helpful. And when we see the ones that are not helpful, we want to get into a habit of simply smiling politely and mentally saying to ourselves, thanks mind, but I'm not buying that today. Right? So to be clear, we're not getting rid of thoughts here. We're simply not buying into them. By doing this, by acknowledging that we're having an unhelpful thought, simply by saying, thanks, Maya, not buying that today. This really helps us to step back from our thoughts so we are less pulled around by them. They lose their grip on us. They lose our ability to pull us into emotional reactivity. They lose their power to drag us down and we disidentify from them. So this is a really simple practice. Thanks, mind, not buying that today. I encourage you to really experiment with this, see what effects it has on your body, on your mind, on your life, see if it's helpful for you. If it's helpful, keep doing it. One last helpful tip. There are some thoughts that come to the door of our awareness that are really really sticky and tricky. It's not so simple just to say thanks, not buying that because they really have a lot of charge. These charged thoughts can be a little bit more challenging. So if you're having a charged thought and you've kind of acknowledged it already, you've said thanks, not buying that, but you can really feel that it's kind of got you in its grip. A second step that you can take here is to question the thought mentally, kind of challenging it here, and that helps you to unhook or defuse it. So you can ask questions like one of the following. Is this thought actually true? Can I know absolutely for certain that this thought is true? So, and then you can give yourself a mental answer to that question, right? Another question you can ask, do I want to buy into this story? Really? What could I gain or lose? Is this helpful or is my mind just babbling on? Does this thought help me take effective action? How can I make the best of this situation? Who would I be without this thought? How can I see this in a new and different way? Right? So these are questions that you can ask yourself that kind of inquire a little into the thought to help you to defuse it, unhook from it and challenge it. So by asking ourselves questions like this, we can challenge unhelpful thoughts and beliefs, unhook from them, and then find more clarity of mind and a steady awareness again, right? It can take courage and humility to question our thoughts and to let go of certain storylines in the mind, but our willingness to do so will be equal to our feelings of inner strength lightness and freedom and peace of mind. So today and for the rest of this week, as you go about your days, just remembering you don't have to buy into everything the mind tries to sell you. It may be a convincing sales pitch, but if you don't find it useful and helpful for you, you can just say, thanks mind, not buying that today. And then bring your focus back to what you're doing in the present moment. And if you need extra support, to let go of those really charged thoughts, just go ahead and ask yourself some inquiring questions 
for those really, really sticky thoughts. Whenever you do this, you will experience more freedom, more clarity of mind, and much more of a sense of resilience as well when you're going through hard times, which is when the mind tends to generate a lot of unhelpful thoughts. I really hope this is helpful for you. I really encourage you to, you know, take what you're listening to here and actually make it real, practice it in your life. And um, hopefully this brings a lot of benefit into your life. Thanks for listening. And thank you for your practice of being mentally stronger. It really is a gift that you give not only to yourself, but really to everyone you know and everyone you meet and ultimately to, to the world. So till next time, take care and stay strong. If you know someone who you think might benefit from listening to this episode, share it with them. Sharing it could really help them to feel better and improve the quality of their life. And if you found this episode helpful, remember to subscribe to the podcast so that you can receive more tips on growing your mental strength. And if you'd like some more support in becoming mentally strong, come over to the website and check out the different coaching and training options I have on offer there for you. You can find the links for all of that in the show notes. And thanks again for tuning in. Take care and stay strong.